Well, what we try to do is we try to take what the industry standard, what most providers offer, and we try to add our own unique flavour into it. Uh, I'm not a trainer, I'm a consultant. I do the same work as we train, so I try to bring my real life experience and my examples into the classroom and make it real and practical as well as cover the theory. We really do believe that we have a unique offering because we are consultant led and not training led. For certified ethical hacking, there's a large range of topics that we cover. And really what we're trying to teach you is not just how to hack, we're trying to teach you how to understand how a hacker operates, how they think, and what their uh, modus operandi is. If you understand your threat, if you understand what motivates a hacker, what makes them tick, if you understand the techniques and tools that they use, then you're in a position to properly defend your network. And that's what CEH is all about. It's not about attacking, it's about using the technology to defend your network and defend your systems. Well, if we look at what's hitting the news lines and what's in the news today, you can't get away without cyber being the headlines in virtually every news bulletin. With the increasing use of technology and internet connected devices and the internet of things, the risk we face is growing every day. We have a massive shortfall in the skill sets that we need to defend our systems, to defend our infrastructure and to defend our way of life. Certified Ethical Hacking plays a small part in that by filling in the gaps in the skills, the technology and the understanding to properly equip people to defend their networks, not just using technical controls but by using policies, procedures and making sure it's risk balanced. It's about a comprehensive threat uh, visibility and threat management portfolio of skills. It's those skills that your business needs to defend itself. At the moment in the UK and Ireland, we estimate there's between a 25 to 30 percent gap in the market. That means we are understaffed by 25 to 30 percent in this particular area. Because cyber has only come into focus in the last 10 or 15 years, it also means that there's a lot of growth opportunity. So not only is it easy to get in on the ground floor, it's easy to build your skill set right up into senior management. And you've got to remember it's a wide range of skills. So we have jobs from people at the outset right through to people at the very, very highest level into CISO. So it's one of the few areas that you can go in, you can progress rapidly, it's an equal opportunity area, and it's got a great range of opportunities out there. Just check any job site, uh, and I would thoroughly recommend taking a look at one called itjobswatch.co.uk. If you type in the certification, it'll give you the average salaries, the number of openings. Take a look. Don't take my word for it. Trust the statistics. Well, if I was to talk through the practical elements of the training course, we would be here for five days because this is a hands-on, interactive course. I take what I have helped EC Council develop because I'm one of the offers of the course and one of the offers of the labs and I take those labs that are generic and standard and we develop and we work and we make them bigger. About 40% of our entire course is hands-on. We create polymorphic viruses, we bypass AV, we crack firewalls, we sniff passwords, the list goes on and on and on. And what's a little bit different and unique about our labs is they're themed. So we will start a lab at say 11 o'clock on Wednesdays when we start our uh, Trojan lab and we spend six hours creating Trojans until we get to a stage where we bypass at least two thirds of all the antivirus in the world. So that's what you're going to get hands-on experience.